All right, guys, we've just been at the Samsung event with a hands-on and we've seen the Fold 5 and it's uh, disappointing. It's disappointing. Goedendag, weer DHRME. Doting haters really means exaltation. All right, guys, we're gonna break this up into three sections. What are the real changes? What are the meh changes? And what stays the same? So what's the biggest change that you remember from this event? Well, for me, the, there's kind of a theme in all the big changes, hardware, right? Like, so to begin with, it closes flat. Mm -hmm. None of that gap anymore. None, no more lint and dust on your inside screen, the foldable screen. That is great. Mm -hmm. And it was noticeably lighter in the hand. Mm -hmm. And now, I'm not saying it's half the weight or something like that, yeah. no. But the Z Fold 4, which we have here and we, we've been using for a few mm -hmm. months, it's not the lightest phone ever. It's not super heavy, it's not the lightest, but that about 17 grams lighter. Nine, but you are close. Yeah, it's almost the same, nine and 17. We can do math, we're Indian. But it's, it's really noticeably light and it's very easy to use. I yeah. think that's kind of the theme for right. what really changed here. And a little bit thinner as well. Yeah, it's a little right. bit thinner as well, yeah. Millimeters, sure. but yeah. And like you said, refinement. So they've changed the glass as well in the front and the back. What was it? Gorilla Glass. Victus 2. Victus 2. As against, as against Plus last year, mm -hmm. they have two now. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, refinement again. Yeah, and not just on the outside, but also on the inside. We now have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which at this yeah. point is not the latest and greatest. But that's what Samsung does every year. The, the 23 and the Ultra and those CDs got the latest and greatest. And now we get a few months later in the fold yeah. and the flip form factors. And underneath that glass, you've got the screen. And that's a pretty considerable change as well. They've gone from a 1500 peak brightness to 1750, 1750. Good. I mean, that's what you need for outdoor uh, usability, so. We know yeah. there are brighter panels out there, but uh, you know, if you can see your screen with sunglasses on in bright daylight, I think that's kind of I where know. we draw the line. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Yeah. Another smallish improvement for those of you who do use the S Pen with your Fold devices is that the new case that comes with the S Pen and the S Pen itself are much smaller and thinner. Yeah. So if you're somebody who uses an S Pen with, with the Z Fold in a case, the new one is much more pocketable. So that's yeah, not us, but if that's you, great for you. Yeah. And there's some things that are a bit meh. They may be new, but they're not mm -hmm. blowing anybody's mind over here. The colors. All right, you got black, you got cream, and you've got what they call icy blue, which is their newest color. Again, okay, if it's your thing, great, but for us, still a color, not a big deal. And they've actually admitted that black is the one that gets sold the most anyway, so that's probably where the uh, popular choice is gonna be. And then the front screen, mm -hmm. it does have a little less bezel, is what we understood. To be honest, when you're comparing them side by side, yeah, you don't even notice it. Like the weight you could notice, this I could not. And then of course it's like, you know, this is the Z Fold 4 here, and when I open it up like this, it's not, exactly a straight line, it doesn't fold exactly flat. The five seem to fold a bit flatter, again, meh. I mean, you would have fooled, fooled me, right? I mean, the Fold 4 flat, folds pretty flat. The hinge, yeah, you see that, but this, not a huge difference. No. And the final meh feature here is the software, when you open up the Fold, you will have a dock where you can see your recently used apps. It's gone, gone from two apps to a bunch more, so, Okay, yeah, you got some more multitasking features there, but uh, that's the biggest change in terms of uh, software UI that we've seen. Yeah, and then, Kevin, it all goes downhill from there. Yep, bunch of things that have not changed. And so, makes us wonder what is the real upgrade, but we'll get to that in a bit. Yeah. So what didn't change? Well, the IP rating is the same, it's IPX8. Mm -hmm. The battery capacity is the same, 4,400 milliampers. But maybe in combination with that Snapdragon Gen 2, there might be a little bit of benefit, but they haven't really claimed anything in this event. So time will tell. And batteries, yes, but what about the chargings? They still have super fast charging, guys, at 25 watts. If you ask me, I think Samsung is scared of what happened with the Note 7. Yeah. They just don't want to exceed certain limits. That's what it seems like to me. Mm -hmm. But because of that day being really left behind in the dust by many other competitors, disappointing only 25 watts for a device that costs so much and has a reasonably big battery. In the presentation that Samsung gave us about the Z Fold 4, they did not mention the cameras even once. It took a question from one of the yeah. journalists in the room for them to actually talk about it. And it's quite obvious why it's being done. They're keeping the exact same hardware as what they told us. The only upgrades you're gonna get is from the 8 Gen 2, you know, if it helps with HDR maybe, or yeah. portrait mode or Boku and things like that. So it's primarily software improvements. So it's kind of 
really disappointing. Sure, it's a productivity device, right? Sure, it's meant for a certain kind of user, but come on. Every year, Samsung has used to set the bar for cameras. I'm really, really disappointed with this. And uh, yeah, so should you buy it? Should you buy it? Well, kind of comes down to the price as well, guys. So they've said it's gonna cost 100 bucks more than the Fold 4. So that's the difference you're looking at. What are you getting for those 100 bucks extra? Well, you tell us in the comments based on what we just told you, but Rowan, what do you think as a Fold 4 user yourself? So look, again, everything we're talking about right now is on paper and with maybe one and a half hours of Hands you on. know, hands-on yeah. experience. So this is not a review, but if I just looked at what happened right now, um, we talked about the Flip 5 in another video as well. Like for me, it seems like on paper, I would want to buy the Flip 5. Yeah. For me on paper, I would <laughs> fold with the Fold 4. I would not buy it, especially if you have a Fold 4. Maybe if you have a Fold 3 or an older one, yes, it would make sense, but there is absolutely no reason to upgrade. The cameras are the same. Yeah. It's a slightly faster processor. The form factor hasn't changed, guys. The front screen is still narrow as hell. Battery's the same, cameras are the same, so. There you have it, guys. You tell us, did you miss anything? Would you want to know something? Because we'll take all of that back into our review when we start testing these devices. You've been folding. We've been flipping. And we've been... What? DHR. <laughs> That's what we are. Namaste. Namaste. Cool. Yeah.